covering against the body hook. Covering is a very effective defense against body hooks. While keeping your hands up covering your face to avoid shots up there, absorb the blow on your arm as you use it to cover your ribs. Body hook. Defense against the bolo punch. Covering. Covering against the bolo punch requires a quick response. It's similar to covering against the body hook, but you must be sure to read the opponent's strike so that you can adjust to the diagonal angle that the bolo punch is coming from. The cover against the high hook. The cover against the high hook works well because it is a quick and effective response. With your hands already up in the defensive posture, reach back, cover your ears, and absorb the blow on the muscles of your arm. The cover against overhand strikes. This is basically a modified high hook cover. Your opponent is throwing the overhand at you to penetrate your basic high hook cover. So to protect yourself, recognize where the angle of the punch is coming from and then cover yourself higher on your head. Aim to tighten your cover by touching your forearm and biceps as much as possible to make the hole so small that the overhand can't go through it. Cross parry versus jab cross. You can cross parry against the jab or the cross. Note that timing is everything here. Angle a bit to avoid the strike, parry quickly and return to your fighting stance. When you do this move, be prepared to move away or use your other hand to defend against an alternate strike. Cutting the elbow. This defensive move requires timing and force to pull off successfully. Enter in close and chop down on your opponent's incoming elbow, aiming for the area between his neck and his shoulder. Grab the back of your opponent's neck to control him or push him away. The drop hand defense versus uppercuts. The drop hand is similar to a parry. This is used mainly against uppercuts, but it can also be used against bowler punches and even front kicks aimed at your chest or chin. As always, it is key that you maintain your solid defensive stance. Cup your hands and slap the strike before it reaches you. Uppercut. The inside parry 
versus Hammer Fist defense. Here I show you how you can do an inside parry against a hook. In the book I mentioned the sheaf as a Hammer Fist defense. The inside parry looks similar to the sheaf. They both begin the same way, but where the inside parry requires you to return back to your defensive fighting position, with the sheaf you are stiff arming the hook and stepping forward as part of your defensive counter. This allows you to get inside your opponent or to grab him. Inside Parry The inside parry is a quick blocking maneuver that requires excellent timing and reaction speed. You are using your wrist and forearm to push the punch away in a semi wax on, wax off Daniel san way. This defensive move allows you to open your opponent's guard up and to enter and strike at will. Practice against jabs and crosses alone at first to build good form and timing, and then against jabs and crosses in various combinations. Outside parry versus back fist and outside parry versus cross. In this demonstration, I show how you can use your outside parry against the back fist and cross combination. The key thing, as always, is to keep your hands up throughout the whole defensive movement. Outside parry versus jab, and outside parry versus cross, then crash in. Here, I demonstrate how to crash in after using outside parries against an opponent's jab cross. The key here is to keep your hands up and to stick to your opponent's cross when you parry it. This allows you to check your opponent's hand as you crash in to avoid getting punched by your opponent. Once you're in close, attack them or put him in the clinch. Outside parry versus jab and shoulder roll versus cross. First, perform an outside parry against the opponent's jab and then to shoulder roll his cross, lean your weight on your rear foot and allow your hips and back to lean back. Raise your elbow and tuck your chin into your shoulder. This in effect allows you to parry with your elbow. Keep your eye on your opponent and either return with a punch or assume your defensive fighting position again. Jab cross. The outside parry versus a jab cross. The outside parry is a basic and almost instinctual block against a straight punch that everyone understands. The key is to not overcommit with your parry, meaning don't use too much force when you parry, or you risk parrying too much and leaving yourself exposed to a smart fighter's counterpunch. Instead, simply slap the incoming punch away from your face and quickly return to your defensive fighting stance. Jab cross. The rock back against uppercuts. This defensive maneuver is like a last minute evasion when your opponent throws fast uppercuts at you. As the uppercuts come, drop your weight on your rear foot and lean back. Then return back to your defensive position and strike or keep moving. The shoulder stop against high hook. The shoulder stop is one of my favorite defenses against a high hook 
because you're stopping the strike before it generates the momentum it needs while also hurting your opponent's arm. You can do a shoulder stop against high hooks and even against a wide cross or overhands. Time the move correctly and ram your open palm against your opponent's shoulder or bicep as he strikes. Follow that move with hooks, straight punches or elbows to finish him off. Shoulder stop versus overhand strikes defense. You can use the shoulder stop against the overhand strike just like you can against the hook. You are more likely to aim for the shoulder however because the overhand strike is coming at an angle downwards. Apply the same amount of forward pressure to the shoulder stop to push your opponent back and keep him off balance and follow up with your strikes 